Hey survivors, Skippy here again with another tutorial. I've heard your cries for help when it comes to temperature and maintaining your temperature. Uh, now I know that can be one of the most difficult things in this game, it can be frustrating at times. Uh, but to get to the basics, if you guys ever want to check what your actual temperature is at the moment, uh, if you hold down your square button and you go over to character and open up that menu, uh, you look right here, it'll actually tell you it feels like and you can see my temperature going down. Uh, so that's uh, that way you can tell you know how hot you are at the exact moment. Uh, so to also uh, give you guys um, some advice here, uh, there's environmental conditions that uh, you have to put in, into consideration. Uh, there's hot biomes such as the burnt forest, the desert, uh, nuclear far fallout zone, uh, the wasteland, and that's pretty much it for the really hot biomes. Uh, there's neutral biomes like the pine forest, the plains, the forest. Uh, they're easy to maintain your temperature in. Uh, there's also the one, only one cold biome, and that is the snowy forest. Um, the other thing, guys, uh, environmental that uh, affects your your temperature is uh, is how high how high you are your your elevation. Uh, so right now I'm I'm at a pretty low elevation. Uh, if we open that up here, uh, it'll actually tell me right here. I'm at plus one meter. Uh, so I'm like one meter above sea level here. Uh, now, if I was to take out a whole bunch of these and jump up in a, in a pile and go right up to the top, um, I would actually get extremely cold. I would start freezing. Uh, if I dug down and went down to bedrock, I would actually start overheating. So the higher you are, the colder you are. The lower you are, uh, the hotter you are. So keep that in mind as well too, along with the biomes mixed in. Uh, now there's other stuff too that you can do that affects your heat. Uh, stuff like uh, holding a torch. Let's open that up here. Holding a torch will uh, will heat you up uh, to a certain point. I'm already at 85, so I'm already over the point that the torch will heat you up. If you're freezing, you can hold a torch and actually keep yourself at a, uh, a comfortable temperature. Uh, stuff like turning on a forge or a campfire. You can see the warning down here. It says you feel warm by the fire. So let's uh, let's turn these guys on and look at our menu here again. So now you can see my temperature is actually going up because I'm standing by fire. Uh, so you can also warm yourself up with fires as well too if you're freezing. Uh, now the most common problem is actually overheating. Uh, that's that's the real hard part. Uh, there is several ways uh, you guys um, to uh, to learn about overheating. It's uh, your clothing. Your clothing has a very huge impact on your temperature. Uh, so I'm gonna look here at these hazmat pants. If you look up here at the stats, it says insulation plus 10 degrees. So that means if I put this on, that, that's going to keep my temperature up. Uh, that applies for stuff like the, uh, the military vest. Oops. <laughs> if I could press the right button. Uh, that one has a plus 6. Scrap gloves, plus 3. Animal high gloves, plus 7. Plant fiber, plus 2. So pretty much any clothing will increase your temperature. Uh, you got your uh, cloth head armor, plus 3. Uh, your finds like your red shirt, which adds plus 10. And then you got something crazy like your puffer coat, which will add actually plus 30 degrees uh, Fahrenheit, is really good in the snow biome. Uh, a skull cap will increase it by 15. And even your uh, mining helmet gives you plus 1 as well too. So keep that in mind. Uh, now if you guys have to cool down, uh, there's a lot of good clothing like uh, your iron clothing uh, that gives you minus insulation so it actually makes you cold. Uh, same with like stuff like the helmet, it gives you minus. Uh, your bandana will give you minus insulation. Uh, this sucker, I have never ever ever found one of these in survival and I didn't actually even know they existed until I was going through the creative menu. Uh, but apparently if you uh, smoke a cigar, it gives you uh, minus six insulation for uh, three seconds. So that's that's kind of cool. Uh, I'm going to check that one out later here. Uh, I've never seen that before. Uh, your cowboy hat uh, will give you insulation. It keeps, uh, it keeps you nice and in the shade. That's where it says looks cool and keeps you cool in hotter environments. Uh, sunglasses will also keep you cool as well too. And a baseball cap. Uh, so those are all clothing you can put on uh, to uh, to keep cool. A full iron set will actually make you freeze almost. Uh, now there's other stuff as well too. There's food and and food products and and uh, drinks that you can have that will uh, that will help you out. So if we go down to my toolbar here, 
my tool belt. Uh, we're gonna look at the best one here. This one is super cheap. It's yucca juice. A uh, yucca juice is actually really good to make um, if you're in the desert uh, and you don't have bottles of water because all it takes to make a yucca juice is four yucca plant and uh, one glass jar. You actually don't even need water to make one of these drinks. Uh, they give you 30 stamina, 15 hydration, and even wellness. So uh, if you guys are ever in the desert, hit up those yucca plants. If you don't know what a yucca plant looks like, this is a yucca plant. You'll find those in the, des in the desert. Uh, the other stuff you can do too is obviously drink yourself some water, but there's also red tea. Let's open this up here. So if you look at the red tea, it gives you 40 stamina, which is actually better than the yucca juice. Uh, it gives you trotting hydration and plus two wellness. So it's actually better for you to drink uh, red tea. It also helps you too if you, if you have the uh, the shits, uh, dysentery from drinking water that you shouldn't have drank. Uh, so that'll also cure that as well. Uh, now to make the red tea though, it's a little bit more complicated. Uh, you have to have a cooking pot in your fireplace. It takes a bottle of water and one of these red mum plants. Uh, so uh, you can use one of these and a bottle of water. Uh, but I recommend making the yucca plants. They're just incredibly cheaper. You don't need a fireplace. Um, I can actually make one right now if I wanted to. Do I have an empty jar? I do. So if I pick that up, I go over to yucca plants, uh, click on it, and then use my right arrow to go to recipes. Oh, here we go. It comes up as yucca juice. Oh, I don't have four of them. If I had four yucca plants, I could make some yucca juice. Uh, but you can make these on the fly. Uh, the, the red mums, the uh, red tea, you have to make in the fireplace. Uh, now there's foods and stuff as well too. Uh, if we take a look at this, meat stew and vegetable stew uh, will warm you up. So let's take a look at the vegetable stew. Here we go, if you read the details, plus five health, seven fullness, and one wellness, uh, nice hot stew, and the description says, uh, always eat your vegetables, <laughs> uh, but they'll warm you up. So I'm gonna show you guys, because um, you're, you're probably like, well, how do I know if I'm cooling down or I'm warming up? Uh, let's go ahead and drink one of these yucca juice because uh, my, I'm at 98 degrees right now, 99 degrees, so I'm, I'm warming up quite quickly. Uh, so now if I uh, go ahead and drink my yucca juice, there we are. It says you feel cooler. We'll actually go and look at the character. Now if you go over here to where it says active effects, it'll actually tell me for the next 2 minutes and 50 seconds I'm going to be cooling down and you can see my feels like. So uh, a great way to just battle your heat overall is just go make a crap load of yucca juice and carry it around easiest thing. Uh, if you're in a snow biome and you're cold, you can do stuff like the vegetable stew and the warm clothing. It's actually that simple, guys. I know it's a little bit confusing at first, but I really hope this tutorial helped you out. Uh, if you guys have any further questions, let me know down in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them all. Uh, if you have any more hints that maybe I have may, may have missed, I'm not a perfect person, let us know down in the comments as well. And uh, once again, guys, I want to thank you for your likes, comments, subscribes, and shares, and I will see you in the next video. Keep it classy, keep surviving, and peace. We're about to turn it on.